Hello, my name is Gary Blonder and I'm a hypnotherapist. Welcome to my consulting room. My job is to help people become happy and I do that by liberating them from their issues. Ways of behaving that are making them unhappy, they're holding them back. But I'm not actually here to sell you anything or to hypnotise you or even discuss hypnosis because there's plenty of that out there already. If you want to talk to me about those things, then you can email me from the info section. I'm here to talk about happiness. Do you want to be happy? If you do, here's some good news. You can learn to be happy. No matter what your circumstances are, you can learn to be happy in those circumstances and any circumstances that you encounter in the future. You see, happiness is not caused by things that happen to you. Sure, if you win lots of money, if you suddenly fall in love, if you win something big, yes, you'll feel happy. But guess what? After a while, you get used to those things and it becomes ordinary again and you return to the same level of happiness that you were before. You only have to read the gossip mags and you quickly realise that there's lots of so-called successful people who are not very happy at all, are they? Being richer is better. It's more convenient, it's more comfortable, and there's nothing wrong with success. But it's a separate issue from happiness. The two don't go hand in hand. There are plenty of happy poor people and plenty of miserable rich people. So I'm not here to talk about success. I'm here to talk about happiness. By all means go for success, but pursue happiness as well. Some people are fortunate in that they're naturally happy, aren't they? They don't have to make any conscious effort to be happy. They just naturally are. It's their default attitude. Most of us are not so fortunate, are we? For the majority of us, our default mood is negative. We feel instinctively angry, sad, unhappy, depressed in response to what we're experiencing. I am just as naturally negative as the next man. By default, I'm angry and depressed. And if I didn't do anything about it, that's what I would be like all the time. But here's the good news. You can learn to be happy. You can learn to do certain things and as a result have a happy and positive attitude. However, you do have to keep doing them. You can never relax. You will have to do these practices for life to keep happy. It's a bit like diabetes. A diabetic can have a perfectly healthy life so long as he does certain things. But he has to keep doing them. He has to take his insulin measure his glucose and watch his eating patterns. And if he ever stops, he becomes ill again very quickly. In the same way, I do certain things regularly and I keep doing them. As soon as I stop, I will be angry and depressed again. Now being happy doesn't mean that you don't ever get angry or sad. Of course I do, but they don't dominate my life anymore. I get over them very quickly and I move on. I can still be broken, I'm not invincible, but I am robust and I bounce back quicker and easier. I can be destroyed, anyone can, but now I'm not destroyed so easily. Some people are knocked down by any gust of wind, aren't they? At least now it takes a hurricane to flatten me. When the wind blows, I bend but I become upright again afterwards. So if you're not happy and you would like to be, listen on. The first thing you need to understand is that happiness is not something external that happens to you. Happiness is generated internally within yourself. Happiness is an attitude. It's a way of responding to your environment and you can choose how you respond. You walk down the street and someone looks at you and laughs at you. How do you respond to that? There are many ways you could respond. 
you will have a default response, the response that you would make without thought or training. But if that response is not the most helpful one, you can train yourself to respond in a better way. So where do you start? After all, you can't change your environment just like that, or the way you think about it, can you? Well, not straight away. Any changes usually take time. But you can start changing right now. And what you can start changing immediately is what you're thinking about, what you're focused on. That's very important because what you're thinking about, what you're focused on, affects your emotions. And your emotions affect your body and your body language and the whole way that you go about things. In my next video, I'll introduce you some good exercises to help generate those good feelings, that happiness that you need in your mind. See you then.